Alright guys, it's Justin again with another unboxing video. Uh, something very different um, than what I'm normally doing. Um, I picked this up sort of on a whim. I'm not really going to go into the details of why I bought this thing, but um, I bought it. It is the um, SU37UB um, non-scale full action plastic kit terminator. This is from Muv Love Total Eclipse. Uh, I bought this from HLJ. And it came with a first edition, uh, limited edition, it's a, it's a first run limited edition bonus item, which is the flight stand. And you can see a really nice shot of the two pilots, um, who I love, inexplicably. But, um, I kind of, like I said, I kind of picked this thing up on a whim. Um, I really like the design. Um, I don't really know too much about Muv Love. Um, I plan on, at some point, trying the games out and seeing what that's all about. But, um, I did pick the kit up because, uh, you know, there's one thing I love, it's building robots. Uh, if that's not apparent by now, why are you guys watching this video? Um, so, I wanted to go ahead and do an unboxing. I've kind of poked around a little bit. I haven't looked at much, uh, inside. I, I kind of flipped through the instructions, but, um, I haven't looked at any plates, so you guys are going to kind of run through that with me. But, uh, quick shots of the box. The bottom and the top are just like in most Gundam kits and uh, a lot of other model kits. It's got the artwork, um, kind of of the mech, the, u or the, uh, wow, the username, the, uh, like the serial name, I guess. Um, here's the name in Japanese, and then non-scale full action plastic kit, and the name again. It's a Kotobukiya kit. Um, and I'm not sure if there's any sort of indicator as to how much these things uh, retailed for. Um, whereas with um, Bandai kits, they do that. And I don't see a manufacturing date or anything like that either. So um, I don't even know how old this thing is. But um, on the side here, you've got a nice uh, flying thing or a flying shot, flying thing. Wow. Um, showing off kind of the thrusters and some of the stuff you can do with it. It's got a combat knife and it looks like you're gonna have uh, swappable hands which is really cool. Um, there's another shot of the combat knife. It looks like the same shot as from here. Just the full body. And this is a sample photo of the unpainted kit. It also appears that there's no decals on it as well. So that looks pretty good straight out of the box I think. And then a bunch of caution stuff, warnings. I'm, I'm an adult. I don't need any of that. Um, here's some shots of the painted kit. Front and rear view. Um, really nice looking. It's got some uh, mounted machine guns on the back and it looks like it can hold two as well. Um, so there's four machine guns in total. There appears to be some uh, your thrusters, your manipulators, and a bunch of other extra pieces. We'll get into that when I, I guess, build it. And then here's a full uh, forearm, like full assault thing that looks really cool. i um, looking forward to seeing how that works. And just an action shot to show you what it is. Um, this is saying these are prototypes shown, actual product may vary, package photos are painted, sample shots unless noted. This is adult collectible, not a toy, um, as with most kits. Um, so, let's go ahead and pop the top off of this thing, if I can get it off of here. It's a very tight fit. Um, oh, another thing, there's nothing on the bottom of the box. Um, I have a tendency to overlook that sometimes, if there is. So, as soon as we tear into this thing, we are greeted by um, some very familiar bits here. So we are um, in bag plastic, just like with a Bandai kit. And you are looking at um, two Sea Runners. These are kind of in like a darker purple, almost a gray. Um, I'm seeing these look like the fins and some uh, other miscellaneous pieces. I'm not really sure uh, what any of these pieces are really, besides the, the you know the bigger ones that are more obvious. Um, you know, what any of this is going to be like. I've never actually sat down and pieced together a, a Kotobukiya kit besides uh, what little of the wrecks I've done, which uh, I should probably get around to finishing. Um, these look like shoulders and some feet. Excuse me, probably thighs. This, by the way, is two D runners. So, two sets of identical runners back to back, just like that. Um, I'm going to say that this is the head. These are some fingers I can see. I'm uh, not sure what these are. Probably something to go on the side of the head. Uh, some chest stuff. Very nice looking. This is B. Also in that same purple. Uh, your A runner, which comes with some very nice uh, large hands. Um, you know, lots of extra detail. These look like thighs, maybe. Um, 
This is looking like a trigger finger. Not very much palm detail. It's a little disappointing. Um, but I'll get over it. Um, there you go. Then some different colored plastics. Some, uh, some grays. A little bit of a green tint to it. Um, this is two E-plates. These are machine guns. Um, I'm seeing a knife. Two knives. Uh, some barrels. Looking like a thruster there. Some vents. Um, and then two smaller E-runners, which are just the machine guns, so that's interesting. Um, so, that's those. A G-plate, which is uh, a nice gloss black, looking like some joints and stuff like that. Um, lots of various bits. And this is G. I think I said that already. And here's another G-runner. I don't know why they didn't just package those together. These are ABS plastic. Um, next we have... Uh, polycaps and H, which is another small um, gloss black. The polycaps are also black. <clears throat> Excuse me. A your F runner is very small. Um, some gray, uh, looking like some some joints, some inner stuff. And K is uh, oddly enough a uh, very different white, um, just looking like some caps to stuff. So um, we've got. L, which is some blue pieces. These look like the things that go on the sides of the head and uh, just various inner detail that's going to pop out and a couple little things here. And J, we're kind of back to the purple, but it's a much darker purple. Um, looking like a lot of joints and stuff as well. Um, and then some of the cooler looking pieces. We've got the, uh, the eye runner, which is all clear orange. Um, there's a small piece right here. It's been pre-painted with... Uh, some gold and uh, metallic orange looking really cool and the eye piece is actually already painted as well so um, those of you who like to mask and paint your eyes these are actually already done for you so that's really neat and then down here in the bottom you're gonna get well if you get the collectors or first run or whatever this is um, it comes with a um, a the base Here's the hug for that, and oddly enough, these are kind of floating around on their own. But here's the other pieces to that, so I think that they might have just popped out of the bag or something like that. There might be like a little hole in here somewhere, and they just kind of popped out and did what they're, whatever they're doing. And in the bottom, we have the instruction manual with a really nice shot of the mobile suit um, on the front, black background. And much differently, um, as you know from any other kit that I've ever seen. As soon as you open up, you're going to get some uh, specs and some stuff about the, the suit and the pilots. Um, yes, there are two pilots. That's really neat. And then you go straight to the color guide, which you normally don't see until the end. Um, you're going to get a runner uh, layout. You can see everything there. Um, massive decal sheet. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and then right into construction. I'm not really sure what goes first because this is 100% Japanese with the exception of, you know, like you can see is A7, D22, so stuff like that. And when we get to the middle, well the end here, you get your decal guide. So that's going to show you that these are actually water slide decals and this is where you put all of them. And there's quite a few to, to put. And with that, um, oh there's also the instruction manual for the uh, the base, and I guess this is an order guide in case you misplace or break pieces. And then there's this massive, massive, massive sheet of water slide decals. So I'm not sure how um, or if I'm going to be using these. I might actually just mask and paint all the camo myself um, to kind of save me some of the headache. But this is really nice that uh, Kudabukiya actually went ahead and did this, uh, you know, by default. Like it's it's really nice to see. Um, water slides, um, especially this many, um, just offered straight up, so it's really awesome. And another nice thing is they're all numbered rather than having like weird, um, like Bandai does half and half with um, the, the, sometimes they'll letter and sometimes they'll use uh, kanji I guess, or whatever they use to, to mark everything off. So that's been the unboxing for the um, Muv Love Terminator. Um, this is going to be my next build, I've decided. Um, it feels like it's been a while since I've actually built something just for me, um, just because I want to build it. And um, 
this is what I've decided to build. Um, so I'm probably going to, you know, kick back and relax with this guy and, um, you know, I'll probably be posting work in progress videos of it. Um, so after the EZ8, you guys can look forward to seeing some of this. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.